people say there are seven different kinds of edgelords. I like to think there might only be one kind of edgelord, myself. This is sort of what I like to refer as an education, not an education. What actually is an edgelord? I want to demystify the role of the edgelord. Your dignity and your beliefs are something that you never give up. Otherwise, you're just a cuck. You know, a lot of times you see these liberal snowflakes, these cucks, cucking all over the cucking world. Just get the cuck out of here. There's a right way and a wrong way to sharpen the blade. When choosing your outfit, you want to give the appearance that you don't care, but uh, really you do. Thick with a big collar, you know, something kind of blade runnery, the, the neighborhood watch symbol. If you can accomplish that, that's half the battle. You usually want to show up about 15 or 20 minutes late to anything. And it's almost always encouraged to have a cup of coffee with you. Uh, Starbucks is good, Pete's Coffee, and uh, any name brands. Just something that'll let people know that you were late for a reason. When, uh, when starting a Facebook argument, usually you want to pick someone who uh, isn't within your immediate family, uh, not a close friend, so when you happen to friend, uh, you know, maybe someone you worked on a class project with. But you want to pick someone that really just needs to be educated. You see, he made an intellectual point, but if we stop now, the lesson is over. Right about comment 19 or 20 is really when the lesson starts to actually take hold. And by giving up, it's losing the point of the entire argument in the first place. If I see a woman that matches my intellectual stamina, if you will, then uh, I would most likely show her my sword. Do I carry my sword on me all the time? Not always, but when I do, it's usually to impress a, uh, a female and uh, hopefully to court her. People ask you, why do you carry knives when you're trying to hurt someone? And really, for me, it's protection. It's protect us against your imbecilic opinions. We all watch Rick and Morty, but not all of us understand it, nor can they. Well, that wasn't funny. That was intellectually stimulating. I have an intellectual barn right now. Lesson number two. Batman vs. Superman is a Shakespearean level drama. Lesson number four. Deadpool always wins. If you find yourself backed into a corner during a Facebook argument, a good way out to maintain your integrity is you're telling them to kill themselves. You're always working on a few screenplays. You've had it read by a few big names, but uh, it's pretty tight-lipped, so you really can't uh, divulge any information about it. Jokes and humor, uh, let's say, you know, you're in a class and the teacher says, uh, Hey, uh, you know, where's Martin? Martin's dead! My name is Nathaniel Cornelius Edgelord, and this is my masterclass.